Okay, this is called axle support. This is what the drawing looks like that we will be doing. The way we will approach this piece is to build half at a time. So we'll build this half and then we'll use the mirror command to automatically build the other half as a mirror image. Click on new. This will be in English units. So we're going to select standard inches right there and then hit the create button. Come over here and maximize the window. We're going to start with create 2D sketch. Now with this part, we want to begin with the YZ plane, which is a little unique. Normally, we would start with the XY plane, but this one, the YZ plane. I just straightened that out by going over to the view cube over here and clicking on right. Let's start by making a two-point rectangle. Just click once there, bring your mouse down, and click again. With this part, it's very important to get the bottom edge sitting right on the horizontal axis like that. Grab your dimension tool, click on the bottom edge, drag it down. I'm going to make sure the rectangle is centered perfectly. There's a number of ways to do this, but one way is just to put 1.5 over 2, like that. To uh, readjust, come over here and grab this tool and, and just pull it down like this. Now we need an arc. Come over here, grab a three-point arc. When using the three-point arc, Click once there, twice there, and then bring your mouse up here to right there, to the point where it's tangent with the other sides, and click a third time. Now click the Escape key on your keyboard, and that will lift uh, your pencil from the paper. The next thing we need to do is get rid of this line, which we don't need. So just left click on the line, and hit the delete key and that will get rid of that. Next, we need to make a hole right here. So we come up here to circle, center point circle, click once on the center point, come out, click again, use the dimension tool, And that circle will have a 0.5 inch diameter, like that. We're done with this part of the sketch, so click on Finish Sketch. Come over here, and uh, we're going to use the Extrude tool next. Come down here and select this surface here. Don't select the hole, just select this surface. Type in a 3 in this box. Move this out of the way for a minute. Come over here to the view cube and rotate it down so you can see what it's doing. It's extruding the part out of the page towards me right now, three inches, which is what I want. So I can either click this green check or hit the enter key. It does the same thing. The next thing I want to do is remove a lot of this material so I'm left with an L-shaped bracket piece. I'm just going to click right there on the view cube where it says front. And that's going to rotate it around to that angle. 
Next, come over to the model tree over here on the left and expand the origin. And in this case, select the XY plane right there where it says XY plane. And I want to rotate the view cube around and show you exactly what it's doing. It's splitting, it's splitting the object down the middle, which is what we want to do in this case so we can cut away or mill away the material we don't need on the part. Click on Create 2D Sketch. Click on Rectangle, Two Point Rectangle. Now line up the first point with the vertical axis right here. Click, bring it down here, right about there, and click again. And we'll dimension this. So what this is doing is drawing a rectangle on that XY plane that we opened up just a minute ago. So let's throw a couple dimensions on here first. 0.375, which is 3 eighths of an inch. Plop it down right there. You can always fine tune these later and click on finish sketch and then go over here to extrude and we'll use the cut feature to cut away that material. Let me rotate the view cube around. It's trying to extrude out of the XY plane or out of the page toward me right now and I want to use the cut command right there and select all and select the symmetric option right there and this in essence is removing that material almost like a milling machine it's just cutting away that extra material so click on this green check or hit the enter key it does the same thing click on front over here and that's the first stage of the part now we have our L shaped little piece. Okay, now that we're done with that, the next thing we need to do is check our drawing. And we need to add this little bump out down on this end, which should be real easy. Rotate the part around and click on right face like that. Create 2D sketch, select this surface, and use the circle tool to draw a concentric circle right about there. And make the diameter of that outer circle exactly one inch. Finish that sketch get the extrude and select this donut shaped surface right here type in point three seven five rotate the view cube around a little bit so we can see what's happening and it's being extruded out of the page towards me three eighths of an inch or point three seven five which is what I want click on the green check and I want to do one last step I want to put a fillet on this edge just a very tight radius say sixteenth of an inch radius on that edge just to clean it up like that so we're done with that step Let's go back to the drawing and the next thing we need to do is add this raised portion right here. We do that by rotating the view tube around, clicking on top to position the piece, create 2D sketch, select this surface, 
get a rectangle draw a two-point rectangle like that now get the center point circle tool and try to line it up on center click once and drag it out to about right there and click again now get the dimension tool and we'll put a one inch diameter on that circle and we'll throw on a few more dimensions let's position that circle out three quarters of an inch the width of this fin or ridge will set at 0.375 and we want to make sure it's centered as well and that's pretty good right there now before we save this sketch I want to remove some of these lines we don't need in here so I'm gonna get the trim tool and just carefully trim away four of these lines like that leaving that shape now finish sketch extrude select that new surface we just created and that's exactly what I want right there 0.375 uh, thickness so I'm gonna hit OK let's check the drawing again we need to remove a little material right here so let's do that now create 2d sketch select that surface and put a line from corner to corner like that finish the sketch and use the extrude tool to cut that material away right now it's trying to add the material so select the cut button there all and that should do it right there let me double check yes so click OK on that now one more step rotate the piece around the top just click on top on the view cube and put a hole right there and let's make the diameter 0.5 inches make sure it's going all the way through which it is so click OK so we have one half of the part done down here so now we're going to use the mirror tool to finish the part go up to the top and select the mirror tool click right there and then select this surface right here as the mirror edge and then click OK and that's our finished part and I'm gonna select polished chrome Okay, now let's do the drawing. This time select drawing. Now this happens to be a C size print right here. And just so you know, you can adjust your sheet 
formats by expanding this uh, model tree over here. So right now I'm looking at a C size print which will fit four views at least. So that's my base view coming in there. The orientation looks right and the scale looks right to me. At least we'll try it. So hit escape to get rid of those other views temporarily. And now select projected. and position your other views on the sheet and right click and then select create and I want that view to be a little bit larger a two to one is too large so right click on it again Let's go 1.5 to 1. That looks about right. And that'll bring the Chrome rendering in. Now I'd like to have a section or cut through this part. Now right click and hit continue and then select which which way you want to look at it, either upside down or right side up. Then drag it up here. And I want to take a section right here as well. Right click dimension a few things and you can go around and add whatever dimensions you need on this like that. And the title of the piece bit bigger font size so there's our drawing and there's the part in nice polished chrome